When doctors opened up this World War II vet, they couldn't believe the object they found lodged in his hip. In 2017, Baltabay Kaziev, a native of Astana in Kazakhstan, had reached the grand old age of 92. Like many people of his advanced years, Kaziev had various aches and pains that troubled him from time to time. But there was one particular spot that was bothering him. And incredibly, the pain he was experiencing could be traced back 73 years to his Second World War service with the Red Army. Kazakhstan is a land of spectacular landscapes and these days is an independent republic. It's the largest landlocked country in the world, although it does have a border with the Caspian Sea, which is itself landlocked. The country also has borders with Russia, China, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan and Kyrgyzstan. Its location in Central Asia means it's had a somewhat turbulent history. The Kazakhs can trace their history back to Turkic nomads who settled the land, but its neighbor Russia had been a major and often unwelcome influence over the centuries. In the 19th century, Kazakhstan was effectively ruled by Russia's imperial czars. Tensions between native Kazakhs and Russian incomers frequently boiled over into violence. Russia, of course, underwent its own cataclysmic convulsions with the 1917 Communist Revolution. In the period following the revolution, Kazakhstan enjoyed some autonomy, but in 1936 the country was incorporated into Stalin's Soviet Union. Stalin seemed to have regarded the country as some kind of massive prison, deporting millions there in the 1930s and 1940s. Since Kazakhstan was now formally part of the Soviet Union, it was signed up to the Pact of Neutrality that Hitler and Stalin had agreed to in 1939. So with the outbreak of war in Western Europe, Kazakhstan, like the rest of the Soviet Union, was effectively allied with Nazi Germany. But this uneasy and unlikely peace between the Nazi and Communist dictatorships was not to last. Hitler put an emphatic end to the agreement by launching Operation Barbarossa, a huge invasion of the Soviet Union in June of 1941. German troops flooded into Russia. According to historian Lloyd Clark, on the day of the invasion, Hitler said, before three months have passed, we shall witness a collapse of Russia, the like of which has never been seen in history. The only force that could stop this catastrophe was the Red Army and its numbers included many soldiers from Kazakhstan, not the least of whom was to be our Baltabay Kaziev. In fact, Hitler's armies enjoyed considerable success in the early stages of the campaign, rapidly progressing across much of Western Russia. Three powerful German armies fought their way across Soviet territory, army groups north, center and south. Although the Nazis reached nearly as far as the outskirts of Moscow, they did not get to Kazakhstan. But even though the Germans weren't actually on Kazakh soil, the people of the country began to play a part in the defense of the Soviet Union from early on. At first, those from Kazakh were mainly required to serve in labor battalions rather than in combat. This may have been because the Russians didn't fully trust the Kazakh people. But needs must and a Soviet Union desperate for manpower overturned this policy in December 1941. Consequently, the Kazakhs were now ushered into fighting roles. And in that same month, the first signs of a turn in the tide of Soviet military fortunes appeared. This change in fortune came with the Battle of Moscow, which started in December 1941. Hitler had been determined to take the city as quickly as possible, but the Red Army, 500,000 of them, stopped the Nazis in their tracks outside the capital, helped by the Russians being better trained and equipped for winter combat. Hitler's failure to take Moscow, it can be argued, was the turning point in the war. As the Russians pushed the Nazis back, Kaziev's service with the Red Army in World War II saw him fighting to liberate Ukraine from Nazi occupation. He was a specialist submachine gunner whose weapon of choice may well have been the famous PPSH-41, often nicknamed the Papasha or Daddy in Russia. This deadly gun was capable of firing 1,000 rounds a minute. The fight to liberate Ukraine from the Nazis started as early as December 1942 with the recapture of towns in eastern Ukraine just across the border from Russia, but the mission to wrest possession of Ukraine would take until October 1944 with as much as 50% of the Red Army involved. As part of the operation that Kaziev played his part in was the recapture of the city of Kiev, Ukraine's capital. The second battle of Kiev in 1943 the first was in 1941 when the Germans took the city, ran from October to December. Eventually, after bitter street-to-street -street fighting, the Red Army emerged victorious. 
It was 73 years after Kaziev had been involved in the battle to free Ukraine that he went to visit his doctor, complaining about a pain in his hip. The medics decided to give him an MRI scan to see if it would reveal what was causing this mysterious affliction. Kaziev had mentioned that the pain might be down to a World War II bullet, but doctors had discounted this. After all, it was now 2017 and the war had ended in 1945. But Kaziev vaguely remembered being shot in 1944. If true, that would mean the bullet had been in place for 73 years. When the results of the MRI scan came back, the doctors were flabbergasted. Kaziev had been right all along. There was indeed a bullet from World War II lodged in his hip and, as he would indicated, that was what had been causing him discomfort. The doctors now decided to operate on Kaziev to remove the bullet. After having been lodged in Kaziev's hip for 73 years, it took the surgeon just seven minutes to remove it. Kaziev had been awarded the Order of the Red Star for his bravery during the war. Perhaps he should also have been decorated for tolerating the pain of a bullet for all those years. The Viral Thread website reported the words of Kaziev's doctor, Saul Hamzina. Throughout the long years of his life, he has never complained about his health, Hamzina said. Only not so long ago, he contacted a veteran hospital with his swollen hip. Balta Bay contacted us and told us that his leg is hurting because of a bullet. We were shocked and thought that it can't be right. So ultimately, tough old Balta Bay Kaziev was proved right. He'd been carrying a bullet for more than seven decades. In fact, despite this, we can count Kaziev as one of the lucky Red Army combatants in World War II. The estimated price paid by the Red Army in the defeat of Hitler was in excess of eight and a half million killed or missing. So Kaziev was not just a brave man, he was a determined survivor. Please like and share this video with your friends below.